Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video. And yes, I am back at Ian Tyrrell Classic Cars because today is collection day for my Countach. I haven't heard it run or anything here. I love coming up here. I've counted there are five Countaches in this workshop. Where else are you going to see five Countaches being worked on apart from here? Mine has come together. I've, I've got an event next week. We'll go into details on that. But it is now working, running. It's just been MOT'd yesterday. I have not heard it run or anything and I can't wait. And the idea is we're going to take a quick drive as well. So I'm going to find Ian and he'll take us around the Kuntas and we'll hear how it's all gone. Ian, this is the big day. It is. And yes. you've been in it as well, haven't you? I have, yes. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. Oh, at the risk good. of being, oh. saying something very dangerous. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I, I always like coming up here anyway because you've got so many contashes just lying around. Look at it. what's this one in for? Uh, well, it, it's come in for an assessment and just oh. uh, whatever, yeah. whatever you know. We, we've done, we've done various tests on it. Yes. And, uh, so we're presenting the owner with oh, with right. our findings and oh, our right. proposals. Oh, how scary! <laughs> yes. It's nice in yellow though. It is. It? Yeah. I like them in yellow actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I always think the thing about the Countach is to show off how it shows off its sort of matte black, the ducts and all that sort yes. of thing is where it really pops. It is. Um, so that's why a bright colour, I think, really works on a Countach. Yeah, I agree. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you we probably spotted a few times the Espada is up here. And yeah, we ought to explain what's going on with the Espada, really. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I'll, I'll try and be as tactful as I can. Yeah. Um, we... We had some problems with the um, ignition system, and we, yes. we, we we had a new one made by uh, One Two Three, yeah. who have been very good, and they've sort of been the go-to distributor people. But yeah. it's fair to say we've had some problems. Um, well, it, yeah, I've got one on my little Lancia Fulvia, works a treat, but they hadn't actually done one, a Lamborghini one, wasn't it? When he approached them for this. Well, I think I think that's right. Yeah, uh, I th I'm, I'm not sure whether they had or they hadn't, but they made a beautiful distributor body for it. Yes. Um, almost exactly like the original Morelli system. Yeah. Um, but we, we, it's been back and two to them two or three times, and uh, I know it's been so it, disappointing because we did it because we thought right, we've had enough. We've had that Polistorico different mismatches of distributor caps, rotor arms, etc. I've just <coughs> driven it on point and it's flying machine you just think this is mad we yeah. don't you know now i've bought this one two three distributor i want it to work yeah but uh it's yeah. cost us a lot of man hours in hassle and sending it yeah. off and trying to fix it and i don't want to dwell on it but um that's, it's, that's it's caused it's a lot of inconvenience yeah. it and, it, really and as i understand it it's two banks isn't it the distributor treats the engine the v12 engine as as two six-cylinder engines, yes, and the maps weren't matched left to right bank or that's, something. That's right. One of them was ten degrees behind the other, yeah. and we couldn't actually get into the distributor and interrogate it and Bluetooth <laughs> no, it. And which is the whole thing. Your point: you yeah. can actually sort of program the ignition yes. to what you want. Anyway, that is why the Esparta is still here. The new, well, the revised one, two, three distributor has appeared, as I understand it. Yes, just, it? just this morning. Excellent. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, that's going to go in there, and then we'll have another go. Yeah. But it's Kuntas time. <coughs> Shiny <coughs> engine, all there. I think the last video we had, you had that issue with the manifold. Yes. Obviously, uh, don't have an issue anymore. Well, well, we don't buy Lamborghini Countach standards. <laughs> I mean, the the. The downdraft spec cars have got different exhaust manifolds on them. They're yeah. ex extractor manifolds, so they're properly done. Yeah. But that, that means they, they go out from the side of the engine like this and then flow into the back here. And they are so close to the chassis, it's I know. incredible. I know. And we've done a little light industrial engineering with a number one spanner. Right. To try and, um, <laughs> <laughs> to try and uh, get it away from the chassis, which we've done. And uh, Zerko Tech, uh, who did the manifolds, are very kindly Right. Um, we sent it back to them because we'd damaged yeah. the coating. They've redone it and sent it back to us free of charge, which is lovely. Right. Um, so it's all on. It's tickety-boo. I mean, it, it, it will never be anything but close because that's yeah. the way they are. Yeah, yeah. Um, ah, but it does look good and it's very kind. So do we think it was caused by excess heat when you put that coating on then? Um, I think it possibly was. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean they, they are, at the best of times, they're a hair's breadth. So it right. um, doesn't take much, in fairness, right. to throw them out. They, they actually look terrific, those manifolds in their coating, don't they? Don't just, they just? Yeah. And just it keeps a lot out. of, the whole point is it keeps a lot of the heat in. Yeah. So the engine stays cooler. 
but I mean, we've done what we can to make it. I mean, the Kuntash engine compartment is never. It's, well, it's all a on show, of isn't it? Organization. Well, yeah, well, part of the things I like about it, it is such a simple car because you yes. can point at the components. There is the distributor, there is the air conditioning, there, yeah. you know, it's easy. It, once it got sure. to Diablo, like the battery disappears under, you know, in its heart. And you've got fuse boxes hidden behind covers here. Yeah. Right above the exhaust, which. Oh, is that on a Diablo? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to say that's not on this. <laughs> Um, yeah. But there's none of that here, no. apart from the ignition unit being here. Yes, and don't power wash your exactly. yeah, ignition exactly. unit by yes. squirting it up that way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you only Dead do it the, you do it the once. once. Exactly, yes. <laughs> a few, few go, pounds or oh, dollars. That's a shame. Yes, oh, it's such a shame. Not sir. another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so don't do that. But, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, what, uh, it's, well, we've yes. done a lot of work on this car, <laughs> yes. haven't we? I mean, it, it, I, it's over a year. Actually, it was yes. February when I brought it in. Yeah, yeah. The gearbox, <laughs> the whole gearbox thing was uh, interesting. Well, again, it was like the distributor, wasn't it? The wrong parts. That yes. They were nice, new, shiny parts, but not the same as yeah. old parts. Precisely. <laughs> yes. So one, one gear did not correspond with the other. Yeah. Minor, minor Mine problems. No problem. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it's grinding paste. Yeah. That'll fit. <laughs> um, but, but anyway, yeah. it's, I'm super, super happy with it now. Yeah. He yeah. says dangerously. Well, yeah, no, I, I don't think so. I mean, you know, it's been well planned. Yeah. I can't wait to try it because you've done all the suspension, the rose joints and yeah. stuff, isn't it? Actually, there was one, is it worth just pointing out the rose joints just sure. so you understand what a rose joint There's one Kuntash over here that is all stripped and I can demonstrate the sort of rose joint. So it's, yeah, let's pop yeah. over there. Okay. Yeah. We missed out a black Kuntash over there. That's a QV over there, isn't it? That's, That's injection, an injection car. Injection car. US yeah. spec. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, this one I, I think is interesting. I like the colour on it, but this is an early one, isn't it? This is well, this is yeah, it's a 1980, uh, so it's an LP400S, um, and it's finished in this beautiful colour, factory yeah. colour, blue yeah. Acapulco, or Ac Seen. Acapulco blue, uh, or blue Acapulco in Italian, of course. Oh, is it? It's the other way around. Yes. Right. Um, and this was the first ever Quintash I worked on, so it's a wow. very great sentimental value to me. Right. 1988. Ac you worked on this in 88? Wow. Yes. And it still had, the interior is all original, it still had its polythene on the seats and everything from the factory. Amazing. And it's only done 8,000 kilometres now. Good Lord. So. Right. But it's going on the Lamborghini tour, isn't it? It in is. In a few weeks. It off, is. Off to the factory. Yes. So that's what you're prepping it up. Yeah. yeah. So this is a, is this a low body? No, I think, think it is. Yeah. It's still I'm a low. I've checked chassis. No, it's right on the changeover. Yeah. But I, I, I can barely fit in it. So right. I'm it must be it then. Is. And then it's got the narrower front tyres on it, exactly. hasn't it? Exactly, 205s. 205s. It's always tempting to put the wider ones on, but yeah. this is how they were. That, that's you know? how they were, yeah. They look tiny now, don't they? Don't they just? This in there, and the mouse hair dash as well. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, no, it's this one I wanted to have a look at because you've stripped the suspension on it, haven't you? That's right. Yeah. This is rose joints all over here, and they're, they're not, if, if you got on a normal suspension, that would just go up and down and be fixed, but basically they're on these spherical bearings, and it moves about, and it's pure, yeah, it's just pure race car, isn't it? It is. Well, this is, if, if you look at uh, a racing car from the 60s and 70s, yeah. it's going to have metal, metal tubes, essentially, yeah. with these rose this joints. Trail Trail. Um, what are these trail training arms or something? Well, they're semi-trailing actually. Semi yeah. Right, semi-trailing. <laughs> Why are they semi? <laughs> well, because well, they're, they're not straight with the line of the car, you see, right. they're at an angle. Well, so that's that, sort of F1, isn't it? That's it, how it, they precisely. were. Precisely. Exactly that's, the yeah. same. Yeah. It's mad that the Kuntash had all that, wasn't it, really? Because yeah. it never went racing. But it just means these race suspension joints wear uh, because they are so unusual. Normal workshops haven't a clue what they are. There's no other road car I know. No. I mean, there's yeah, XD220s perhaps, yes. stuff like that. But that's, that's all, yeah. I think, that had them. And you can see again how crude the chassis is. Yes, mm -hmm. all the tube. You've got the, I mean, it works. Yeah, you've got the petrol uh, tanks out of this. There's twin tanks normally yeah, hiding in right. this space. And the, but, that's, yeah. that's what the exhaust manifolds normally look yeah, like. Yeah, sort of <laughs> rusty like that. Yeah, they're hidden away. Yeah, because they're exposed as well. They get all the road grime on them. Exactly. Don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Enough. Let's go and have a look at my car. I want to have a look at my car. It's been long enough. It's been a year since I've heard this thing run. Right. Let's go and have a go. Great. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to play now the clip of me and Ian going out in that car before we did any work on it. 
with Ian putting funny faces at the sound it made. I've got used to it because I've owned this car 12 years. They all sound like this, don't they? Apparently not. Anyway, so I'm going to play that now just while I set up the cameras and then you'll join us in the car. Uh, oh, sunshine. Yeah, one of the things you don't get in a Kuntash are sun visors. Oh, yes. It's a bit of Yeah, that's all ready. Yeah, that noise. Yeah, now that is a, uh, you clear left, okay. that is a very unusual noise in a Countach gearbox. Normally they whine, yes. but that's a chattering noise, yes. which is a whole different ball game. Uh, I think there's something moving inside the gearbox. Oh dear. Um, I, I suspect something's actually moving axially on a shaft, a gear, because as soon as you put any throttle on it whatsoever, any load, yeah. it starts to make that noise. Um, I think I think uh, this is sort of uh, that's, not yeah. a moment too soon, really. No. If, if that's, uh, you know, yeah, yeah I, I don't like that noise. No. I didn't, I would have a chip too from something like that. So it could be, really yeah, but it's something obviously that's coming on and off um, as the load comes on and off. Yeah, you're good left. Um, you, you can make it a nice slick change, that'd be nice as well actually. Yes. I think that might be asking a little too much though. Well I think we can improve the second gear synchro. Right. Because that's, um, I don't know what oil's in it actually either. Oh no. gosh, that noise. Oh. Well, it's always had that noise, that singing, that canary sing. Yeah. That one. That's been since I owned it. Right. But it getting worse. And it's oh. particularly bad if I put it into fifth. Well, yeah. I don't like that one bit. Right. That's well. not just a bearing one or something like that. That's more. More right. serious than that. Well, it's a very good job I never brought it up before because I've had 12 years of that yeah. just getting louder. <laughs> That's <laughs> all of this. <laughs> yeah, it gets, it gets a bit boring off right, us when you put something around it. So, yeah, it's sort of bearable in fourth. Ooh. Man, that really does make me cringe. <laughs> it really does. I'd quite like it to disappear. I thought that was going to stay. I thought it was that other one at slower speeds you were going to have a go at. Uh, and yeah, that one, yeah, gets, yeah, it's got quite a voice on it. Right, oh yes. Steering's changed because you've taken the electric out, haven't you? Yes, that's right. right. I never get over how much adjustment there is on the Countach as well. It's amazing, the isn't it? It's huge. Yeah. Right, I'll, try it, I'll try it there for the rally car look. I remember this, I have to press that's one. That's it, uh, that the, that's it, that one, yeah. That's it. Sorted. Lights out. That's a good start. <laughs> Literally. It is. Let's have a look. I'm going to put, I'm going to do this. I can, I put, I can put that forward. These are like, I always think they're like deck chairs, aren't they? They are. That is a very good analogy, actually. Uh, yes. Yeah. The world's down. most expensive deck chairs, possibly. Yeah, but I, yeah, I've always found them weirdly comfortable. The trouble is, if I have them too reclined, I've then got all the squeaks there. So I might just bring it forward a little bit for the sake of the microphone. Yeah, that's it. Right. Oh. Got, got fuel, got everything. Gearbox. So, let's hope it's a little different, eh? Mm. The other one. Although I didn't buy the last one because it, it went well. <laughs> yes, well, small, small matter of iron filings flying up <laughs> through the gearbox gate into the cabin, but apart from that, you know. Oh, oh could just behave here. Yes. Yeah, 
first is almost 60 miles an hour in a Kuntas. I can't remember exactly how fast it is. Just how liberal you are with the we've got heat, so we've got full heat on. We definitely don't need full heat today. It would make gearbox noises already, even it doing would, this. Yes. So I am I am impressed. It would be swishing and swashing and uh, or, already. Yes. <laughs> you should, I mean. Hopefully you'll notice a difference in the performance oh, as well. And I can change seconds, and there's, there's a little bit of heat in the car, but not a huge amount. And I've got no power steering as well, and I can feel lots of things through the steering wheel, which I like. Good. That is good. Yeah. That's visibility in them and that Exactly. Yes, yep. Yeah. Right. I'm giving you a 90% guarantee that nothing <laughs> that Not a hundred. <laughs> Test drive. 
good. That's the best ones I've been on. Look how different that was. Wow. Very, very good. Yeah. Ticking over at 1100, do you think that needs taking down? Yeah, or? it will do. Um, until everything settles in, that, that is probably one thing that I might have to just tweak right. down. Okay. Uh, once everything's settled down, it's got a few miles under its belt. Okay. Uh, you know, just lower it by 100 RPM, something like that. Wow. But, um, different car. Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. That is a very special Countach now. Uh, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have driven quite a few. I've never driven one that is almost faultless. I mean, I can't think. It's slightly like high ticket. What else I know? I th it, it's, it's, that is as good, I think, as a Countach can get, isn't it? I can't I think, think it pretty well is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, most of them, no disrespect to Countach <laughs> owners across the world, but most of them are pretty awful, really. Well, that's, they're the most variable car I've ever driven yes. between one to the other. And yeah. you cannot spot from the outside which one's going to be good or bad precisely until you get behind the wheel yeah that is true but i've never driven one like that that is so tight on steer everything there's no knock no nothing everything just feels locked on i'm here you know to be driven you've done a four wheel alignment on it as well yeah we have you? yes so yeah, which is crucial on them actually yeah with those rose yeah. joints but this is this is as good as it gets oh, i'm so oh. so happy i would love to put that on the dyno because that felt properly fit. I always yeah. thought it was quick, but it's just electric yeah. now. But you've, you've, you were saying you've done something to it. Well, yes. we haven't, you know, yeah. it's not been mad. A bit of hand blending here and there on the tracts and things like that. It, it, on the inlet, so yeah. make absolutely sure. It's like blueprinting, yes. isn't it? Just it make absolutely sure there's no, no sort yes. of gaskets in the way or exactly. that sort of thing. Um, and uh, just, you know, making sure everything lines up properly. Um, I balanced the carbs using my right. hose pipe and yeah. um, the, the, the idle will need knocking down, but yeah. it, it's just it comes as it's used, everything beds in, it frees off, etc. Um, wow. I don't know what more I can say other than yeah. thank you very much. <laughs> well, you know. well so yeah, I know it's been a bit of a journey, but my goodness. It's like having a <coughs> second contest. I know I've owned it for twelve years, but this just feels a, you know, starting with a new car. That's lovely. Yeah. And wow. it's, yeah. Yeah. There we are. Good. Right. Well, there we go. Before we get, yeah, over emotional. I hope you enjoyed that video of the first drive in the Countach. I certainly enjoyed that drive. It was everything I always hoped it would be. Um, if you did like this video, well, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.